and welcome everybody to Mar de Plata, Argentina, as the FIVB proudly presents the 24th annual World League. Tonight, second match of two after a big surprise in the first match. I'll tell you about that later. Number eight, Bulgaria, takes on Italy, a rematch from the bronze medal game from the London Olympic Games. And it wasn't easy for any of these six teams to get here. 90 matches all over the world. The winner's prize at these finals, a million dollars. This is, once again, the World League Finals, and it is Mar de Plata. And welcome inside Isla Malvinas as we take a look at Pool D. Bulgaria has already beaten Argentina. Italy is playing their first match. And then Argentina will play Italy to close out the preliminary round. The teams have taken to the center court. It's time now for the playing of the national anthems of Italy and Bulgaria. The second match of this doubleheader on the second day of the preliminary round. The first match was a huge newsmaker and newsbreaker as Canada beat Russia. Yes, Canada beat the reigning Olympic champions three sets to two. And tonight in the nightcap, we've got Bulgaria, currently ranked at number eight, a pretty easy winner over Argentina, and Italy. Italy, really, really a good team.
And there are the anthems for Italy and Bulgaria in exchange of some pre-match uh, pleasantries. A look at the full team list for Bulgaria. Again, a three sets to one winner on the opening night uh, over Argentina. Bulgaria was second in Group A behind Brazil with a seven and three record. And now to Italy, 10 players from Bulgaria by the by played in London where they finished fourth. And as far as Italy is concerned, six players back. Emanuele Biarelli playing in a couple of Olympic games. Dragan Travica at the setting position. Christian Savani, the captain at the outside hitting position. And the one and only Ivan Zaitsev as well. Zaitsev establishing himself certainly as one of the magnificent stars in the world today. Here are the two officials. They will be introduced momentarily. A little bit of history. 19th meeting in the World League overall between Italy and Bulgaria. Italy has a 10-8 advantage. Seventh meeting in the finals. Italy won the first four. Bulgaria has won the last two, the most recently in 2011. Ruggiero Espelkowski from Brazil will be the head referee. And Denis Cespedes from the Dominican Republic will be the umpire. And again, the challenge system in play. Each team will receive two video challenges. Uh, they lose it if they are wrong. We've had it used uh, extensively and very, very efficiently and accurately in the first match of the evening. Won again by Canada. Yes, Canada over the Olympic champions from Russia. Three sets to two after they trailed 7-2 in the fifth. But now we're turning our focus to Bulgaria and Italy. A rematch again from the game for third place, the bronze medal game. There's the Argentinian team doing and their coaching staff and scouts having a look at this match because they will play Italy tomorrow. Jordi Petroev, uh, the setter, after the introduction of Todor Alexeyev, the captain. Middle blocker is Viktor Yosefov coming out, number 12. And Svetan Sokolov, the outstanding opposite for Bulgaria. He had 29 points in the win over Argentina. And in the last intercontinental round match, he had 31 points against Poland. So in the last nine sets, he has had 60 points. And there is uh, Todor Salperov, the fine libero. And this is the starting lineup for Camillo Placci, the Italian transplant head coach now for Bulgaria. He was an assistant for five years. Now he is the head coach. And now the introduction for the starting lineup for Italy, currently ranked number three in the world. Simone Parodi, Thomas Beretta, number one. Newcomer to this team, the captain, Christian Savani. Dragan Travinsa, and as mentioned, Emanuele Biarelli. Six players back from Italy, from their bronze medal team. There is Ivan Zaitsev, very entertaining personality, very, very talented player. He's been moved from wing spiker to the opposite position, so we'll see what that looks like. It's easy to pick him out. He's got the spiked mohawk going on. He got, he's got it all going on, as well as the family tradition. His father, Vasislav Zaitsev, one of the great setters in the 80s period of volleyball, led Russia to the gold medal in 1980 and the world championship in 1982. And then after the fall of the Iron Curtain, Vasislav was allowed, because no other Previously, uh, Russian players were allowed to go compete in Italy, but he uh, moved his family, he did uh, Ivan Zaitsev's father, move them to Italy. His son, Ivan, was born there and is an Italian citizen and representing Italy internationally, and we're about ready to go. Thomas Beretta, first time I've seen Beretta with a national team, 23 years of age, two meters, five centimeters, was watching him warm up. Nice looking athlete. You would think coming in that Bulgaria should have an advantage in that uh, 10 players uh, very familiar with one another from just a year ago in London where this is a pretty new Italian team, but we'll see how it plays out. Oh, very nice first point. 
And that ball deflected or ruled just on the end line. And Beretta will continue to serve. Again, best three out of five sets. First four sets to 25 points. Fifth set if necessary, and we've needed it a time or two already, will be played to 15. Svetan Sokolov stuffed by Biarelli. Boy, that was really a good blocking move, completely taking away the cross court. So Biarelli is really a good middle blocker. He's been around a long time, now 32 years of age. Certainly hadn't looked like he's lost a step. Alexeyev having a little problem passing that ball, and Italy out to a quick start here, aren't they indeed? Biarelli with a stuff block, and then Biarelli with the kill. Italy out to a very, very nice early lead, making good plays, good contact, very, very clean so far. And that ball will drift just over the end line, so point possession now to Bulgaria for the first time. <coughs> Bulgaria comes in as a pretty hot team. They had a must-win situation, the second match against the United States in Reno, Nevada. Bulgaria came out, won that match three sets to one, did travel to Brazil and lose, lost twice, but then they needed wins over Poland, and they, uh, at home, they beat Poland twice, and Svetan Sokolov was just spectacular. Here's Dragan Travica, also a transplant from Eastern Europe. His father played for then Yugoslavia, coached Serbia, but uh, played professionally and coached in Italy. And Zaitsev with a very, very nice cut shot inside the block of Bulgaria. So Dragan Travica, Good size at the setting position, wearing number 13. Two meters, 26 years of age. He and Ivan Zaitsev are going to be quite a combination for a long time. And Skrimov with a kill. Very good all-around player, Todor Skrimov. A little bit undersized, some would argue, at 1 meter 91. Only 23 years of age as he goes back to serve. So Savani, Christian Savani, the captain for Italy, very, very nicely on the back row combination. Italy looks very sharp, very sharp, as Simone Parodi will go back to serve for the first time. Uh, the libero Andrea Giovi, also a holdover from London. And Zaitsev is stuffed. Todor Alexeyev putting the ball right off the top of that Mohawk. Well, let's see where that ball goes back. Oh, if that Mohawk was a couple stories higher, it might have gotten him in the head. Well, a lot higher, I guess. Viktor Yosefov serving for Bulgaria. Italy leading 6-3. to three. And Christian Savani into the cross court. There is a huge Italian community here living in Argentina. There was a big migration at the beginning of the uh, 20th century from Italy, which was having a real economic turbulence. Sounds like uh, history repeating itself. Anyway, I would imagine that Italy might get a little bit of the hometown hospitality on their visit here to South America. Chance for Italy quickly to get to the first technical timeout, and they do. Simone Perotti with a kill. And very, very quickly, Italy out to a comfortable lead, 8-3 to three in this opening set. Second match of this second day, doubleheader. Once again, the big headline news, Russia losing to Canada, three sets to two. Technical timeout here in Mar de Plata.
coming out of the timeout, two-time Olympian, Emanuele Biarelli. We'll go back to serve. Italy finished fifth in his first Olympics in Beijing and came back to finish third, taking home the bronze in London. Lost to Brazil in the semifinals and then beat this same Bulgarian team for third place. Svetan Sokolov with a beautiful kill. Sokolov has got to have a huge match, and he's got to do a better job from the service line. He was absolutely horrible yesterday. <clears throat> Zaitsev again off the top of the block registers another kill. Teams used to serve Zaitsev to try to get him out of his game when he was a wing spiker and one of the main receivers. But now as he's playing the opposite, you know, he's not available in that situation. And you just saw just 24 years of age. Uh, Gatsev with a kill out of the middle. Bulgaria sort of shaking off some of the early match jitters possibly I don't I don't know experienced group very familiar with this sort of situation Italy along with Brazil is the only team ever to play in all 24 World League editions Italy has won this tournament eight times but not since 2000 Italy had a golden, golden era. Three-time world champions, 1990, 1994, 1998. Fourth at the world championships after a real drought in 2010. Third at the Olympic Games, as I've mentioned on a couple of occasions in London. So Italy is uh, moving back up the world rankings. Now Brazil is number one, Russia number two, and Italy in at number three. Zaitsev again, cutting that ball away from the defense of Georgi Bratoev. Zaitsev was blocked once, but other than that, he has been perfect so far. Svetan Sokolov looking for a touch, none detected. And asking for a call there, and that ball is out of bounds. Let's take another look. Hey, you can't tell. Can't tell. The umpire's right there. Denis Suspedes, the umpire from the Dominican Republic, didn't hear anything. And I didn't see anything, and I'm not sitting as close, but pretty close. Scream off over the top, and no touch there. And a timeout quickly called by Bulgaria. Back-to-back -back hitting errors by Sokolov and Skrimov, and Italy with a very comfortable opening set lead, 13 to six. Milo Placci, the head coach for Bulgaria, working hard. You know, people talk an awful lot about the culture. There's Marcos Milinkovic, a former longtime star for Argentina, and now the second coach for Javier Weber. Again, the uh, Argentine coaching staff enjoying the action tonight and trying to shake off uh, what was a very frustrating loss to this Bulgarian team last night. They were ahead. 18-13 in the opening set, and then there was a mix-up at the scores table. There was a long delay, and Argentina, their own fault, they lost their momentum. Bulgaria came back and won the set, and then eventually won the match, three sets to two. Oh, that is such a good shot. That is such a smart shot by Simone Perotti. And speaking of coaches who've done a great job, Mauro Baruto in his fourth season now is the head coach for Italy. Previously, the head coach in Finland, and that's where I first saw Coach Baruto. You could tell he was doing a very, very good job. He was an assistant in 2004 when Italy won the silver medal in Athens, and then he was their head coach for the bronze medal in Atlanta. And I just think Mauro Baruto is one of the 
young coaching stars in the world today. He is absolutely superb. Big early lead for Italy. And I must say, I just had a feeling about this match before. I'm just not surprised. Italy just looked sharp. They looked ready to go. Bulgaria with a three sets to one lead in their pocket came out a little bit flat. Certainly not an excuse. It's just an explanation of what I thought I saw. Todor Alexeyev missing that ball out of bounds. And now we have come to the second technical timeout. And it is all Italy so far leading 16 to 8. Teams back out on the floor after the second technical timeout. Simone Parodi will go back to serve. He's taken over as the starter at the other wing spiker position now that Zaitsev has gone to the opposite. A uh, good cut shot that time by Svetan Sokolov trying to generate some energy. It has been a very, very flat Bulgarian team so far as Viktor Yosefov will go back to serve. Zaitsev. Although he comes in at two meters, two centimeters, by today's standards, a pretty undersized opposite. So we'll see how he, he does. I don't think Italy's looking for him to carry the huge load offensively that uh, some opposites do for their respective teams. Parodi thinking that there was a touch against Bulgaria, but that is not a challengeable call. Touch on the block is not. Foot fault, center line, ball in and out, antenna. Oh, Savani hanging and crushing the ball down the line. This set is certainly gone, but uh, if I'm Bulgaria, what I want to do is just make some good plays. They've done nothing so far. Try to get up to 20, get a feel for the match. There's Zaitsev again, right over the top. And Todor Alexeyev in a collision that time with his middle blocker Gatsev, Svetislav Gatsev, and came out a little bit worse for wear. That is really a good jump float serve. Very effective indeed. Parodi all over that. Look at how quickly and how smoothly Italy transitions. Zaitsev off the block once again. You know what Italy does so well? If, if Dragan Travica doesn't set the ball, which he doesn't this time here, everybody on the Italian team has got really, really good ability to make a play. Set a ball dig a ball, pass a ball, and that makes them a very, very good transition team. My Italian's not very good, but I think uh, Camillo Placci just pleading his case right there. Rodrigo Quiroga up in the stands. He had a fine match yesterday. He was certainly the player of the match for Argentina. He does his part. Argentina was right there, but just could not uh, pull it out against Bulgaria. 
give the local fans a lot of hope for having the home team advance into the final four. That ball crushed down the line and Savani making a pretty good run. Got to be careful going on, you know, you got to be careful. You got the set one. You're one of the best players in the world. You're the captain of the Italian team. You know, there are times that, you know, you want to be a leader. You want to make a great effort. Yep, that was, that was a great effort. But sometimes you just got to, you don't know what's lying in wait over there. There's usually a cold beer. Ivan Zaitsev going back to serve. Italy making it look very, very easy, leading 20 to 11. Speaking of cold, very, very chilly here in Mar de Plata, beautiful coastal city of about half a million. Huge fishing industry, tourism, but this time of year, it is really cold. It is winter in the Southern Hemisphere, make no mistake. About nine degrees today, windy, cold, a setting position uh, being changed. Dobomir Dimitrov, the second setter coming on, replacing Georgi Bratoev. So when one player's going bad, you remove him. When everything stinks, you take the, out the setter. Zaitsev unloading. Alexeyev finding a small hole, seam in the block between Savani and Barretta. Fodor Alexeyev was the top receiver and the top scorer in last year's World League Finals in his home country of Bulgaria and in the capital, Sofia. Boy, Italy is letting nothing touch the floor. First long rally, good effort by Bulgaria. Can they put the ball away? Not yet. Dug by Perodi. And then Zaitsev is stuffed. Gatsev along with Sokolov. Svetan Sokolov, number 19 for Bulgaria. That's pretty good dig by Perodi. Not a smart swing by Zaitsev. The ball was set way inside, but when you've got a 21-12 advantage, no harm done. And that ball is out of bounds. No touch detected. I don't know why the players complain. They always yell at the opposition. Oh, say you touched it. Nobody's ever going to admit to touching it, ever. It's up to the officials to call it. If they don't call it, what are you going to say? Yeah, I touched it. But it's always been the same. But it's gotten worse. And that ball is out of bounds. Missed by Dragan Travica. And now a timeout will be called by Italy. Yep, there is Mauro Bruto wanted to take a timeout. You don't want to end a set badly. Even if you're going to win it very easily, you don't want to just close it out and limp across the finish line. Teams back out on the floor after the Italian timeout. Todor Alexeyev, the captain, continuing to serve. And Zaitsev. <laughs> Maybe he played dodgeball as a young kid. That ball off the block and just out of bounds. And Gatsev almost got him. A serve by Savani. Wow, nobody's getting a hand on that. And now Italy just two points away from an easy opening set win. Christian Savani always had a really, really good arm. 
fast arm, but I didn't think he had the kind of variety to his game that would make him a world-class outside hitter, but I was wrong. He hits cross court, he hits high seam, he hits into the deep cross court corner, he hits flat, change of pace. He has really, really become a good veteran all around player. Now 31, he's been around a long time. And a good kill out of the middle by Baretta. And now set points for Italy. Got out to a very quick start, 3-0, and never looked back. Italy is serving really well. Even a lot of jump floats are uh, really giving Italy some problems. Zaitsev for the first set, and there it is. Ooh, ball was out of bounds. So Zaitsev now, he's been blocked twice, hit a ball out of bounds. And they're going to challenge. So we're going to have a challenge for that ball called out. And the umpire, Denny Cespedes, will go over. This is the technology. There are 16 cameras. And there it's confirmed that the ball was out of bounds. And that's as long as it takes. How good is that? He goes over to look. There it is, clearly out of bounds. There is a look. There are 16 cameras, bay end line, two on each end line, two on each sideline, a couple on the net. And uh, the system is just working to perfection. I mean, and you saw how long it took. And congratulations to the Polish company that developed this technology and the software and the hardware. You saw and their knowledge of the game, because as soon as Denis Suspedes, the umpire, went over, they already had the right look ready for them. 16 cameras. And that one picked it up perfectly, and it took no time at all to confirm that that was the correct call. Set point again. And Skrimov hits that ball out of bounds, and that'll do it. Bulgaria offered very little at all resistance to Mauro Brutto's team from Italy. Teams will change sides. We'll take a quick break. Italy wins the opening set 25 to 18. Boy, and it do did not take much. Bulgaria made. Wait till we see the, the box score from the first set. I'll tell you, a lot, a lot of errors on the board for Bulgaria. As Italy takes the first set 25 18. Here in Marta Plata, this is the FIVB. World League Finals. I did tell Denny to uh, walk very slowly over there. <laughs> My God, did he walk slowly? <laughs> did he? Did he? Oh, he walked slowly. Yeah. Oh, he's going to stop. Walk backwards to stop. He really did. He's proud that. I said, make us look better. Walk slowly. It's so good. All right, here's the numbers that I was talking about. I'll tell you, opponent errors, eight for Bulgaria, seven for Italy, but most of those eight, I would guess, came early. An ace, a block, Bulgaria didn't do much. Uh, too many careless plays, and Italy was just absolutely superb in their first ball side out and in their transition, and easily won the opening set, as you can see, 25 to 18. Mentioned that uh, Italy appearing in the 24th edition of the World League. Only Brazil has also played in every edition. This is the 16th appearance 
in the World League for Bulgaria. They were fourth last year in Sofia, equaling their best ever finish. Still looking for their first podium after 16 tries. Second match of the evening, Canada stunning Russia in the opener. Other results, Russia beat Brazil 3-2 to two yesterday, and Bulgaria beat Argentina. Two groups, two pools, Pool D, Argentina, Italy, and Bulgaria. Pool E, Russia, Brazil, and Canada. Those are the six nations that have advanced out of the grueling and challenging intercontinental round. Ivan Zaitsev with six points in that opening set, but I think his terms of efficiency, he might have hit zero because he was blocked twice and hit a ball out of bounds. So he's got to clean that up a little bit. And we're ready to go with the second set. And Todor Alexeyev will serve first. And Zaitsev catches that ball on the sideline. And no challenge necessary. Boy, he really strikes the ball well. Watch the top spin on this shot. Look at that ball drop. That's a lot of things that a lot of young players don't really focus on. They don't make clean, crisp hand contact on the ball. They miss it a little bit. It floats. It flails. They have absolutely got to, when you're developing as a player, good Big hand, make your hand as big as it can possibly be. Center of the ball, lots of good top spin, wrist snap. You'll have some real good control as a hitter. And Emanuele Biarelli once again, nicely out of the middle. Italy is passing really well. If Bulgaria doesn't serve better, I mean, this is just easy. Unless Bulgaria starts to do something from the service line, Italy, I think, is going to make pretty quick work. Uh, Zaitsev, a very smart shot. Change of pace, just rolling over the top of the block. There is Andrea Gianni, played during that uh, golden era for Italy, one of the great players in the last quarter century, three times a world champion. I know that off the top of my head, but also won four, five, maybe six World League titles when Italy was dominating this tournament in the, the beginning stages of its inception all the way back in 1990. They've won the tournament, they being Italy, have won the tournament eight times, but their last was in 2000. Svetan Sokolov registering back-to-back -back kills, this one off of Simone Porodi. This would be a good place to start for Bulgaria to serve the ball a little bit better. Svetan Sokolov <laughs> cannot make a serve. Couldn't make a serve last night, but it didn't hurt them against Argentina. Definitely cannot serve the ball right now. It's basically a point for the other team whenever he goes back to the line. And that, that's, that's, just a, that's just crazy. Georgi Bratoev back in the lineup as the setter after he was replaced by Dobomir Dimitrov. Scream off now for Bulgaria. That is a really good touch. Bratoev made a really good touch on that ball against Savani one on one. And Bulgaria didn't pursue that ball. And Biarelli will go back to serve. And nicely done by Svetan Sokolov. You know, just seeing Italy. A lot of people have been talking about the fact that the Italian League, which has been one of the very best for decades and decades, might be having some hard times. Matej Kaczynski and Radostan Stoichev, his longtime head coach, left Trentino and uh, they moved over to a club in Turkey. Turkey spending a lot of money, taking away a lot of players. Boy, I certainly hope that there are no problems with the Italian League. It's a Great country to live in, wonderful volleyball culture, great fans. But uh, everybody knows if you read the newspaper, unless you've been living under a rock, 
as that ball is sprayed out of bounds. The Italian economy not in the best of shape these days. Boy, that is really a nice swing into the cross court that time. Alexeyev, who's so good at slicing off the angle, came away limping just a little bit. Maybe a little inadvertent contact under the net. Not sure because Zaitsev didn't come away looking as if uh, he, he'd made any contact at all. I, I just think that uh, Alexeyev, he's got a lot of miles on that body, and sometimes when you land, it just doesn't, doesn't feel very good. Not a good set that time, and Zaitsev, he was trying to take something off. Alexeyev, again, trying to walk this off. But Zaitsev should have just, just he, he hit that ball so low into Gatsev, and Zaitsev now has been blocked three times. He's just got to learn to just keep that ball in play. Back to Zaitsev, one-on-one -on -one once again. Boy, he has got such a fast arm. He was a very, very good left side attacker, and uh, sometimes the angles and the arm swing, a little bit different on the right side, but uh, having no trouble at all. He hit one ball during the Olympic Games. I'll never forget that his head coach, Mauro Baruto, just, just sort of had to, he was stalking the sidelines and just had to bury his head because it was just the most amazing shot inside about the six foot line. That was in the quarterfinals when Italy beat the United States. We've come to the first technical timeout. Second set, Bulgaria leading Italy, eight to six. Ugo Kanti there with the glasses and the signature beard that he's had for as long as I've known him. Doesn't look quite the same as it did 30 years ago, but uh, we all changed through the decades. One of the great players in the history of Argentine volleyball. His son Facundo Conti, I think, among up uh, with Zaitsev, Mazursky, Mikhailov, among the uh, new generation of great stars in the world. Unfortunately for Argentina, Facundo Conti had to have uh, minor shoulder surgery and is recuperating and was unavailable for this year's World League. But there's an old saying, the only minor sports injury is the one on the other guy. When it's your shoulder and that's how you make your living, or it's your knee and that's how you pay the mortgage, it's a big deal. Christian Savani now the captain for Italy. And he misses that into the top of the tape. Italy's dropped their level a little bit. Bulgaria is trying to generate some emotion and some energy. And they lead it 9-7. If you're just joining us, second match of the day. Italy won the opening set 25-18. And check the newspaper tomorrow. Save the headline. Canada beat Russia three sets to two. So Russia will... There is Lubomir Ganev, the head of the delegation for Bulgaria, one of the most entertaining, unique players in the history of the sport. Remember when he played uh, at the Atlanta Olympic Games, he weighed in at about, oh, 130 kilos, 125 kilos. Lubomir is larger than life. Wonderful guy, and boy, he could really play. It's a great story about him when he was walking down uh, Copacabana at the World Championships in Brazil several years ago. I'll tell you about that one in a moment. Nice play by Bulgaria, and they're starting to get it going here, leading 11-8. We get another shot of Lubomir. I'll uh, finish that story. If not, I'll leave you hanging. It's quite a story.
And that ball served out of bounds. All right, I'll tell you. Lubomir Ganev, in all of his accoutrement, gold chains, rings, whatever it may be, is walking down the beach in front of his hotel at the World Championships. And a criminal came up and put a gun in his ribs and said, give me your money. And Lubomir looked down at this small little robber and said, Lubo no give money. And the young boy shot him in the foot, took off a small piece of his toe. Lubomir wrapped it up and played in the world championships. But Lubo wasn't about to give him his money. That ball off the top of the block, no question about that. Svetan Sokolov is starting to heat things up a little bit. And good effort here to keep the ball alive. And then watch the top of the block. It's hard to see. It, there's super slow motion and then also, and then ultra motion. And then when you see that, you can really tell the fingers being deflected away by the ball. But that was a touch there. It was easy to hear. Simone Parodi now for Italy, trailing 12-10. And stuff blocked by Savani. The Mauro Bruto, I think, has made Christian Savani a better player. He can block, he can serve, he plays defense. Obviously, he's taken over a leadership role on this team as far as being the captain. And he can play some defense. Dig by Savani there. And another block. Biarelli again. That's a good move now by Italy. They trailed by three. Now they go on a 4-1 run, and we're tied at 12. And Bulgaria has called timeout. And if you haven't been with us during our previous coverage of a match of the week or haven't seen Camillo Placci on the sideline previously this season or during the finals, yes, he speaks Italian to his Bulgarian charges. A lot of the Bulgarians have played in Italy. They have a working use of Italian. And uh, Mr. Placci does not speak Bulgarian. That ball off the top of the block. Pretty good touch on the outside by Zaitsev that time. So here is Skrimov. Oh, good block. Three-man block that time. That's not a smart swing by Savani, challenging the block. Just hit the edges. That block was well formed, and there was no reason for uh, Savani to go after it. At least that low an angle hit up high into the weak part of the block. Top of the fingers. Scream off, comes right back, misses that jump serve. is one of the best jump float serving teams. They really do a good job with it. Bulgaria out of system again, and that ball inside of Thomas Barretta. Barretta should have had that ball, just got to drop his inside hand. Barretta, two meters, five centimeters, new to the team for the first time. You see his right hand was late. It was just starting, to, but he's got to drop it, drop it into the angle, and he'll block that ball straight down. Savani, change of pace. Sokolov all over that. And that ball hit out of bounds. 
Fodor Alexeyev, his patented cross-court angle, just missing that wide. Bulgaria starting to make some errors. Italy, their ability to move from offense to defense and back again, starting to take over. Their ball control is just so good right around the dial that uh, they win the long rallies. Good pass by Alexeyev, and here's the net violation either on Travica or Beretta, and that will get us to the second technical timeout. Second set, Bulgaria leading Italy, 16-14. Teams coming out of the second technical timeout. And Bulgaria to serve, Georgi Bratoev, his twin brother, Valentin, a backup wing spiker, played very briefly yesterday against Argentina. A serve, jump floater by Bratoev. Some miscommunication between Giovi and Parodi. And timeout, wow, one point coming out of the technical, and Mauro Baruto not wasting any time at all. I think Bruto, Mauro Bruto, the head coach for Italy, wants to try to do everything he can to make this a short night's work. But just ask Russia. They let Canada back in. They let down. Canada trailed two sets to none. They won the third 25-23, the fourth 25-21, and then came back from 7-2 down to win 15-12. Uh, Zaitsev off the edge of the block and out of bounds. One of the things that really helps uh, Italy with uh, Ivan Zaitsev is that he used to be a receiver. So if Italy gets in real trouble in terms of their serve reception, he can step right in and they can receive with four players. Good play by Savani. Oh, that's a smart shot by Zaitsev. That's not his fault. Remember I criticized him a few moments ago for swinging into a big three-man block? That was a smart shot. He just needs to get some help from one of his teammates. That ball's got to come back up by Travica. Block again on the outside. Svetan Sokolov. That was really interesting, some byplay there between Sokolov and Camillo Placci. Placci, obviously he knows this Italian team very well and all of their tendencies. And he was talking an awful lot about where and how to block the Italian guys. That ball's hit out of bounds and now Bulgaria continues to extend their lead. 20 to 15 and another timeout, their final timeout taken by Italy. Well, hand it to Bulgaria. Camilo Placci, the head coach for Bulgaria, has cajoled and worked with and reached out to his team, and they've played better and gotten themselves into this match.
Paolo Bruto is not a happy head coach right now. His team played flawlessly in the opening set, took advantage of every error by Bulgaria. 125-18, but now completely turned the tables. Italy making lots of mistakes, hitting balls out of bounds, and getting blocked. Gutsev with a stuff block this time. Substitution coming on now, number 14, Matteo Piano. And he'll come in to replace Thomas Barretta in the middle. One young, big middle blocker replaces another. Piano, two meters, eight centimeters, just 22 years of age, replacing Barretta. This is just, well, Baruto's out of timeouts. He's just trying to slow things down a little bit and do what he can since he doesn't have any. Oh, look at Gatsev. Gatsev right now is just blocking everything in sight. And we're going to have another substitution, number 10, Filippo Lanza, coming in to replace Simone Perodi. 22 to 15. Oh, and another block. Wow, Svetan Sokolov. Bulgaria putting on a blocking clinic right now. Oh, wow, that is perfect. Zaitsev over the top of the block and in front of Alexeyev. I think Todor Alexeyev, the captain for, watch him in the middle back, number 15. He, he's, he's not really down. He's not really ready to play any defense. Remember, going back to the early stages uh, of this match, he landed awkwardly. I don't think he's feeling 100%. Here is Piano. And Skrimov able to rattle that ball through and down. So Gatsev will go back to Sir Svetislav Gatsev and lots of set points for Bulgaria. And Biarelli keeps them at bay at least for the moment and it'll be set point number two first ball side out opportunity to end this second set and even this match at one apiece and the favor is returned once again you know Svetan Sokolov is just getting to this ball late and letting it drop That ball is only clearing the top of the net by about six inches. He's got to hit it three feet over the top of the net. Skrimov unloading. Zaitsev got fooled, helped out Fiorelli, and that opened up the net for Skrimov, who, Todor Skrimov, who put that ball away. Watch Zaitsev on the outside, helping on Viktor Yosefov. That opens things up. Bulgaria wins the second set. 25 to 18, one set apiece, Bulgaria and Italy will be back with a third set after this short timeout. Oh yeah, oh yeah, where'd the rest of my sweets go?
seven opponent errors from Italy. That tells the story. Bulgaria limited themselves to only five, six blocks by Bulgaria. That is a big, big output. One ace, Bulgaria absolutely outplayed Italy in that uh, second set after Italy made it look like very easy work in the first. Look at some of the scoring numbers. Ivan Zaitsev with 11 points is the uh, second leading scorer in the match behind Svetan Sokolov. But uh, the sheet I'm looking at doesn't have his efficiency numbers. And he has hit a few balls out of bounds. He's also been blocked a handful of times. Fodor Alexeyev has been very quiet so far with only three points. The Bears repeating that he landed pretty awkwardly early in this match and uh, bothered a little bit by an ankle or a knee. The team's back out on the floor for the start of the third set. Thomas Baretta is back in. Started the match, left uh, very briefly for Matteo Piano. And Italy will start in the same rotation for the third straight set. And we're underway. Oh, that ball somehow goes to the floor through Biarelli's hands. It's going to be very interesting to see how the start of this uh, third set comes to pass. One team played very well, Italy, and then Bulgaria played very well. And the reverse is true, that they each played very, very poorly in the sets that they lost. Sokolov, not waiting and putting that ball away. So Gatsev, who had a couple of those six stuff blocks for Bulgaria in the second set, will continue to serve. Simone Perotti back in the lineup. Maybe just like the first match won by Canada over Russia. We're going to have a real battle here. Two long matches. The first match for Italy. Remember, Bulgaria beat Argentina last night three sets to one. Transition, who can be the best, who can be the fastest? Christian Savani there. I think this is uh, Italy's kind of game. Good dig by Alexeyev. And Zaitsev again. I think the odds are that uh, the majority of the long rallies will indeed be won by Italy. Better ball control overall, a little more disciplined in their system defensively. They get from the positions on the floor and to the right positions, probably at a higher percentage of times than does Bulgaria. Denny Suspedes working with the captain Christian Savani after that long rally to make sure that they've got the service order right. Don't want to go through what we went through yesterday when there was about a eight minute, maybe even a 10 minute delay well, the service order was confirmed, had a big impact on that match. And that ball ruled right on the sideline. Will there be a challenge? Christian Savani can ask. He was more talking about the slam dunk than anything else. That is not reviewable. That is Rogerio Eskopalski. He is the head referee from nearby Brazil. 
Gary able to keep the ball alive. And not for long to Biarelli once again. Good choice by Travica. Plenty of time for Bulgaria's defense to get set, but they still couldn't do anything about Emanuele Biarelli in the middle. Tied at three. And off the block and out of bounds. Svetlan Sokolov. Little conversation between Sokolov and Savani. And uh, kissing and making up after the referee <laughs> look gave him the dirty eye. And they'll go at one another once again. Oh, they called that ball out of bounds. And now they're going at it again, face to face. Dragan Travica. Svetan Sokolov seems like a gentle giant. You know, he doesn't see. Well, we're trying to sort this out. Each team has been given a yellow card warning, and now they're going to check the replay. I think that there's going to be a challenge. Off the challenge, that ball is confirmed that it was out by Bulgaria. Oh, I love the challenge system. A little nod by the referee to the linesman who made the right call, and it was confirmed by the replay. Krimov, luckily off the block and out of bounds. Things starting to heat up just a little bit. After all of that, checking the rotation, going through the challenge. Bulgaria leading Italy, 5-4 here in the third, tied at one apiece. Boy, that was really a good serve at Savani. And off the top of the block, beautiful swing by Ivan Zaitsev registering another point. Both teams passing the ball pretty well right now. Sokolov changing pace and doing a good job digging that ball against Zaitsev. Sokolov again, really defending his position well for a big guy. And then Todor Alexeyev off the block and out of bounds. Smartly done. Oh, that was really a good touch by Sokolov. What more can you do one-on-one? -on -one? That ball's got to come up. Watch the touch. 
Sokolov doing a really good job, and Salparov just sort of losing his balance and not making a good play on that ball. Savani pretty quiet so far. Tied at six. And that's going to be a net violation called against Bulgaria. That yeah, was funny. Gotsev was complaining about the call, and Alexei <laughs> put his hands up immediately, said that he had netted. No question about it. I'll tell you, one of the things that this challenge system is going to do, it's going to stop a lot of the whining and the crying from the players, which is so unattractive about every call, because they know that the video is going to make them look foolish. Tied at seven, technical timeout coming after this play. And Zaitsev misses it out of bounds. Boy, a lot of negative swings by Ivan Zaitsev out of the court and being blocked as the teams will head to the sideline. First technical timeout, third set. Bulgaria leading Italy, 8-7. Uh, look at the replay once again that caused so much, so much consternation. That ball clearly out of bounds. Savani getting in there, Dragan Travica, and also the head referee awarding. Always thought awarding was a strange word when it came to this penalty, but uh, giving a yellow card to both Bulgaria and to Italy. Coming out of the technical timeout, and there is the pipe. Quick back row attack and now Italy and Bulgaria tied at eight and Biarelli out of the middle once again So back to back points and Italy leading nine to eight. Give you the full list of results so far in the tournament. A beautiful swing by Svetan Sokolov. The opening night, Russia beat Brazil three sets to two. And then Bulgaria beat Argentina. And then earlier today, Canada came back from two sets down to beat the reigning Olympic champions from Russia. So the matches tomorrow will be Italy and Argentina and Brazil and Canada to decide the final four. And after the upset today, a lot still to be decided. After that little nose-to-nose -nose with Dragan Travica, I think that uh, Svetan Sokolov has upped his game a little bit. He looks like a gentle giant to me, but he is certainly a powerful force on the volleyball court. And Sokolov can't quite make that play. Alexeyev sprawling after it. Dragan Travica will go back to serve, tied at 10.
Grimov has been very quiet so far on the evening. Good all-around player, just 23 years of age, a little bit small on the outside. But he can really pass, serve, play defense, and a pretty high flyer. He can put his share of balls away on the outside. Yet another serve out of bounds. There's Zaitsev with a good swing right at Salperov. Boy, he missed that. Yeah, that one came off sounding a little bit funky. It did indeed. I wondered about that swing. Pretty quiet in the arena tonight, obviously uh, full of Argentines and nobody with a particular rooting interest. I thought, though, that Italy might be the favorite among the local fans, given the huge Italian immigrant population here in Argentina, particularly in Buenos Aires. We're about 400 miles, 400 kilometers, I should say, south of Buenos Aires, right on the Atlantic coast. A beautiful coastal city. And mentioned that Scream Off had been kind of quiet. Well, not quiet right now. Good kill on the left side and then coming through with the ace serve. He's a really good all-around player. That's what Bulgaria needs more of. More guys who can make plays, can pass the ball, can really do things as all-around volleyball players. Oh, that is such a good swing. High, flat, off the block. And Svetan Sokolov pretty much unstoppable right now off the right side. And an absolutely perfect set after Georgi Bratoev made the first contact. Salparov, that is a really good delivery. And then Sokolov just ripping the ball into the weakest part of the block. Blocked again is Savani. Three blockers up. Excuse me, not Savani, but Ivan Zaitsev. And now it is 15 to 12 and a timeout taken by Italy. What a turnaround. What an amazing turnaround. Bulgaria looked flat, disinterested, and after a very poor first set. Wow, good playing by Bulgaria and a real challenge for Italy. That's just a good three-man block and very good effort by Georgi Bratoev to become part of that block as the, uh, as the setter on the right front. Yeah, that's a good call. And there's no question that that was a lift. Very good call. And we've come to the second technical timeout, and Bulgaria is rolling. 16 to 12 is their advantage at the second technical timeout. some of the hardworking crew that makes all of this possible. Richard Baker, the press officer for the FIVB there in the front, the FIVB television coordinator, Neil Bowker, there as well. Oh, one-on-one -on -one again. Zaitsev is stuffed. 
Also want to thank our outstanding Argentinian television crew bringing you these sounds and pictures. Oh, that is really good. Reaching into the cross court, all Bulgaria. And that ball sails just a little bit long. Bulgaria can just side their way. In other words, receive, serve, first ball, side out, side their way to a set victory. They lead 17-13. Perfect pass by Salparov and crushed by Yosefov. The key, the pass by Salparov on a very, very good jump float from Emanuele Biarelli. Boy, that was really well done. Beretta is there, but he's jumping into the cross court and the cross body was wide open from Yosefov. Oh, foot fault. Easy play to call. I'm not sure what he's laughing about. That, that's a bad error. That's a careless, not thinking error. You're up 18-13 and you just give one away. And Sokolov again, Svetan Sokolov is just putting on a show right now. He is absolutely owning this third set. Zaitsev is blocked again. Oh, off the block. Wow. Todor Alexeyev holding his fingers a couple of centimeters apart. Woo. Boy, Zaitsev is what we call a terminal hitter. Either terminally good or terminally bad right now. His efficiency is not very good. Boy, the wheels have come off the Italians. Good touch out of the middle by Gatsev. And right back to him and answered nicely by Beretta. That was a big play by Italy. That keeps their hopes alive. That's a two-point switch right here. Where do you go? Gatsev back in there and a very good read and a one-on-one -on -one block by Beretta. Could have been 21-15. Instead, Italy still with a chance. No whistle. Everybody's got to keep playing. Incidental contact with the net. It wasn't at the top of the tape. And that ball on the sideline by Parodi. Timeout called by Bulgaria as Georgi Bratoev, the setter for Bulgaria. And his head coach, Camilo Placci, going at one another a little bit and now having a conversation along the sideline. like Camilo Placci, the head coach for Bulgaria. He's in control. He had had his say with Georgi Bratoev. He'd had his say. And now it's time just to settle them down and take this third set. The lead now is just 20 to 17. Free ball coming. Probably go back to Sokolov. Either that or Skrimov to Sokolov off the block. Another swing maybe. Not this time. Skrimov is rejected. It's 
Grimoff was one on one here. He got to put that ball away. I don't know why he's tipping that ball in front of Dragan Travica. Now it's 20 to 18. And Zaitsev make it 20 to 19. Timeout called by Bulgaria. Svetan Sokolov needs to be able to put a ball away. Well, it looked like Bulgaria was going to run away with this third set. But remember that big block by Thomas Beretta I told you about? That could have been a two-point switch. And Sokolov can't put a ball away right now. And that's right on the sideline. Ivan Zaitsev putting the ball away. And we're tied at 20. 5 nothing run right now for Italy. Milushev coming in to replace Svetan Sokolov. Can't set him right away. Going to be tough to find a place to go. Skrimov over the top of the block. Wow. What a great swing. Todor Skrimov at only 1 meter 91 centimeters going over the big boys. Bulgaria back on top by one. They had a big, very comfortable lead. Oh, nice play by Biarelli. Beautiful set that time by Travica. I'll tell you one thing that Georgi Bratoev, he's only 24, but he's got to be a little bit more of a leader. He's the setter. He's got to be a calming influence, and he is showing more frustration than he should be on the floor right now, and I think it's hurting his team. No, not a good set at all. Scream off again, and he missed that. Change of pace, looking for the top of the block, and he missed it. Now Italy leading 22-21. Boy, Bulgaria is going to rue the day as Svetan Sokolov comes back on. Again, Sokolov is stopped on the outside, this time by Perotti. And Italy is leading 23-21. Valentin Bratoev will be coming on, trying to make a substitution. Couldn't get the paddles handy in time. Skrimov is blocked by Zaitsev. What a complete collapse by Bulgaria. They led 20 to 15. They've been outscored 9 to 1. Wow, what a complete collapse. And that ball into the deep cross court corner. That's a really good swing by Skrimov. And that 
that'll do it. Another missed serve by Svetan Sokolov. He's really struggled from the service line so far in two matches. And Italy gets off the deck to steal the third set, 25-22. And Bulgaria has nobody to blame but themselves. Pretty low error set when you look at how it played itself out, but Bulgaria just gave that set away. Big lead, they had a transition opportunity. Bratoev decided to go to Gatsev out of the middle. Beretta stopped him. That was a two point switch there and then that sort of opened the floodgates. And it was not a pretty picture after that. Very, very frustrated. Camilo Placci, head coach for Bulgaria. There's no doubt about that. Svetan Sokolov with 19 points, the leading scorer in the match, but did nothing towards the end of that set. Could not put a ball away, give Italy's block and defense some credit, certainly. But uh, the big man's got to be able to come through for Bulgaria, and he did not. Ivan Zaitsev is the leading scorer for Italy, although he would tell you he hadn't played very well. A lot of hitting errors, balls hit out of bounds, balls blocked. Not a clean match so far for Zaitsev. Sometimes spectacular, but not consistently good. So the team's back out on the floor. For the fourth set, Italy leading two sets to one after easily winning the first. Bulgaria came back, took the second easily. It looked like they were going to win the third easily. And then they just gave it away. Final matches of the preliminary round tomorrow, Argentina, Italy. And it will start off with Rush, excuse me, Brazil and Canada. That is not the kind of set loss that Bulgaria historically has come back from very well. But uh, Camilo Placci, their new head coach and their new leader, trying to change that culture just a little bit. And Zaitsev off the block and out of bounds. He scores early. Thomas Barreto will go back to serve. He has been Italy's first server in each of the previous three sets. Pretty good jump float. Not effective this time and easily put to the floor by Gatsev. Svetoslav Gatsev, only 22 years of age. Two meters, five centimeters. Bulgaria, a pretty young team when you look down the list. Svetan Sokolov might look 35, but he's only 23. And that's going to be a three meter line violation called against Christian Savani. Bulgaria was basically one play away from locking up that third set. 
They got to make sure they've got short memories. That was a long time ago as Gatsev goes back to serve once again. Good save by Biarelli, keeping the ball alive. And a stuff block by Yosefov once again. You know, that's I, I don't blame Zaitsev for being a little bit frustrated. You don't see him right now, but he was talking to his teammates. This is not a bad shot. Ball's tight outside the antenna. All he's trying to do is hit that ball into the block and get it back. So I understand his frustration in that regard. Dragan Travica, the setter now serving for Italy. Pretty good jump serve. He's got good size as a setter at about two meters. That ball rolled off the top of the block after Italy had screamed no touch. Of course, uh, the guilty party raises his hand. See, there is Zaitsev, one second celebrating that he didn't touch the ball, and then the very next second saying, yep, you got me. When the, when the challenge system and the replay is a little bit farther along and we can challenge, not we, but the teams and players can challenge touches, then all of that histrionics will disappear. Svetan Sokolov finally serving the ball in the court. He dialed up a short serve ace. That's a good way to change things up after really struggling for a couple of days. And just out of bounds, Sokolov with the dig, but over the end line. A lot of conversation. There are a lot of officials dressed in blue and green tonight, you know. They are sniping at each other on every call. That ball was dug. It, was a, it wasn't even close. No question that ball was out. I mean, that ball was out by a foot. But Bulgaria challenged that? Wow. And, and it was, it's right down the side. It is right down the sideline from where we're sitting. And there's no question that ball was out. And that's going to be a lift or a double contact. And here comes Italy, now trailing only 5-4. So oh, another block, Biarelli and Savani. See, this is where Sokolov, he kind of gives a lot of half efforts. And he has the physical ability to be a dominant, dominant player. And he just got to hit a little bit smarter. The line was wide open. I'm not sure that he sees the block very well. I think he's just such a good athlete that he just gets away with it. Kind of like that. He just hits the ball and hits it high and hits it hard. Sokolov was the leading scorer through three sets with 19 points. That's a bad block by Savani, taking very little area. A serve by Skrimov. No question about that. And I was talking earlier about making good contact on the ball. This was good contact. The spin rate to kind of use a term from tennis. The spin rate on this ball was very, very good. Top spin able to bring the ball down into the court. That one, the trajectory off just a little bit. Coming up on the technical timeout, the first in the fourth set. Well, there's no question that ball was way out of bounds. That was out by just as much the previous ace was in. Alexeyev blocked out of the middle by Beretta. And now tied at seven. 
Todor Alexeyev is struggling a little bit with his game tonight, and they need his offense. He was a little bit gimpy early on in this match and doesn't seem to have uh, his usual lift. Good float serve. Well, Italy is really good at that part of the game. That ball is in. Not sure what the Italian block was trying to do there, but we've come to the first technical timeout of the fourth set. Italy leading two sets to one, and Bulgaria, however, leading here in the fourth, 8-7. So Camillo Placci talking there with his opposite, the, his star, Svetan Sokolov. Keep hitting the ball in a real high trajectory. Hit the ball crisply. He just can't be quite so terminal. He's got to be to the point where he puts the ball away or the worst thing that can happen is he hits such a good shot that his team is going to get the ball back with an easy opportunity. Yosefov back to serve and misses that one to the top of the tape and just like that tied at eight. <laughs> off the block and out of bounds this time off of Travica. Travitz is setting the block up way inside, and uh, Alexeyev is a very, very clever hitter. And Zaitsev is blocked again by Gatsev. Timing not quite there, and Zaitsev is a very, very frustrated player right now. Make no mistake about that. Bulgaria on top by two, 10-8. Maybe we're going five sets again. Did earlier this evening. Again, if you're uh, not aware, haven't been on the FIVB website to check the live scoring of the World League Finals. If you had been, you'd know that Canada upset. Canada shocked Russia three sets to two after coming back from a two sets to none deficit. Really nice set that time on the outside after a perfect pass by Sal Salparov. You know, volleyball is a dependent game. Setter is dependent upon good passing. Hitters are dependent upon good passing and good hitting. Good setting, I should say. You get the idea. That ball by Parodi off the block and out of bounds. So it's a, a very, very team-oriented game, not one player. Not one hitter, not one server. Certainly can go on a run, but can't dominate the game. The best hitter in the world is pretty average unless he's getting good sets. And that ball nicely off the block and out of bounds. So Camilo Placci seems to have a very good relationship with all of his players. And Svetan Sokolov took to heart what his coach said, high up into the hands, edges of the block. Don't keep challenging low when you're as big as he is. Two meters, six centimeters, about 110 kilos. And a very good athlete as that ball is served straight out of bounds. And that will make it Bulgaria 12, Italy 11.
Here is Stravica. Oh, nice play, tapping that ball down by Parodi. Georgi Bratoev tried to pull the setter fake, pull the hand down at the last moment, but the Italians uh, too fundamentally sound, too well schooled for that. Oh, good set into the middle that time. Viktor Yosefov registering the kill. Off the top of the tape and down for the ace. Wow. It's a rule that was changed a long time ago that the net serve would not be a violation or a fault. I, I don't mind it indoors at all. I got a problem with it out on the beach because I would hate for an Olympic gold medal or a world championship to be decided by a mistake. And let there be no doubt, nobody is trying to serve the ball into the tape. It is a mistake when that happens. Or maybe you try to do it every once in a while. But uh, yeah, not such a big fan on the beach. Look who's come to serve. Where has this been the whole week so far? Once again, the final day of uh, the qualification round is tomorrow. Italy and Argentina will play. It will be Brazil and Canada to close out the day. And after that, semifinals on Saturday, finals on Sunday, and we will crown the 24th World League champion. $1 million to the first prize team, 500000 to the second. Oh, that ball dug up by Travica. Oh, that ball was caught. There's no question about it. You can't complain on that. Christian Savani going over to ask the head referee, and that one explained and handled quite nicely. You know, almost anything goes on the first contact, but you can't catch the ball and throw it back up. So that was, that was a good bit of officiating and uh, good communication between the Italian captain. You can always see the last bit of the wry smile, the wry look of Camilo Placci, the B Bulgarian head coach who saved for Georgi Bertoev, trying to develop that relationship and develop that young man into a really strong international player. A little immature in my opinion right now. Not too far off, however. Very talented, very competitive, but he's got to find a way to help his teammates be better. Fourth set, Italy leading two sets to one. Bulgaria on top of Italy, 16-14. And Manuele Biarelli, who's been a very good jump server, jump float server, misses that. This evening match just sort of rolling along. Very quiet here in the uh, Isla Malvinas competition hall. As mentioned, uh, Argentina not playing tonight, so not a lot of rooting interest involved. Oh. And Christian Savani somehow tapping that ball down the line. How does this one get by? Real change of pace. The block moved way inside, and nobody there defensively.
served out of bounds by Zaitsev, who's had, uh, by my opinion, a below average match. Not a lot of impact. He's been blocked a lot, hit a few balls out of bounds. Bulgaria, similar situation is in the last set, but they led 20 to 15. Here they led 18 15, now 18 16. And if you're just joining us, Bulgaria let that third set get away, eventually losing it 25 22 as Italy went on a 9 1 run. Almost unheard of in point per play scoring. Foot fault there by Savani. He knew it right away. It was a terrible toss. He missed a serve by 10 meters anyway. As Todor Alexiev will go back to serve. 1916, Bulgaria leading. Well, he could be playing five again. Why not? Boy, that was really a bad set by Bratoev. Just make the easy play. Just come over to the left side and set Scream off and let him do something smart. Play together. Don't try to make too much out of it yourself. This was going to be an almost impossible ball for Sokolov to hit anyway. That was really a bad choice. Oh, and Svetan Sokolov got to it too early. He got to the ball first, and it was all on Italy's side. And just like that, it's 1918. Yep, Sokolov got to that ball first. Parodi has a perfect right to go up after that ball. Now Baretta comes back and misses that jump float. Last rotation where Sokolov is in the front court. So you've got his blocking up there, can be a real weapon. Fiorelli, good combination out of the middle. He's showing a lot of quickness. And a lot of snap out of the middle. He's been very effective and very efficient. Bulgaria leading 20 to 19. Savani going to question, and this ball was right on top of the net. If, that, if any part of the ball is on Bulgaria's side, then it's a legal play. So there's the challenge once again. They want a net violation to be called against Bulgaria. And now Denis Cespedes is coming out and he will reverse the call on the challenge. So the call was a net violation against Viktor Yosefov. And just like that, it's 20 all. Here it is. There's the net touch, no doubt about it. And the ball served out of bounds. Dragon Travica. Boy, there is a lot of drama going on out here. That ball was not even close. Ball was out by a foot. timeout is called by Italy. See, the players are going to adjust, and all of this whining and crying about checking the calls and whatnot, this wonderful review and challenge system is going to take care of all of this. Because that ball wasn't even that close.
Teams back out on the floor. Bulgaria will serve. Svetan Sokolov, who has struggled so much throughout this tournament, with his serve, he's got an ace earlier on. He's starting to find the court. That's a, a good place to start. Bulgaria leading by one, but trailing overall two sets to one. Boy, what a pass that time. A very late move by Giovi. The libero, Andrea Giovi. The libero in the all-white uniform for Italy. And then once again, out of the middle, Manuele Biarelli doing a very good job there. Tied at 21. Oh, you got to step in and set that ball. Oh, look at that. Look at that. How can you let that ball drop? Inexcusable. And timeout is called by Bulgaria. On the tip, Savani was just trying to keep that ball in play. And Skrimov and Sokolov just looked at each other like deers in a headlight and let that ball drop. So teams coming back out on the court after the Bulgaria timeout. I'll tell you one thing I've got to do is I got to develop a new system for taking keeping track of challenges. How many are remaining? Because you have two per set, and if you use it and you're wrong, you lose it. That ball served out of bounds, and now it is 22 apiece as uh, Skrimov will go back to the line. That ball's way out, not even close. Tordor Skrimov. And Savani off the top of the tape and out of bounds. So now 23-22. Miss serve, ball hit out of bounds. Italy's got a timeout left. Mauro Bruto's thinking about it, and he'll take his timeout now. Timeout called, Bulgaria leading 23-22. Italy trying to end it. So Bulgaria trying to send it to a fifth set tiebreaker. Leading 23-22. Dobomir Todor Skrimov will go back to serve. And Biarelli again. And for the second time, Bulgaria has let a ball drop. Wow, you can't do that. Wow. A serve by Biarelli. The jump float, and now it is a match point for Italy. 24-23. And a timeout called by Bulgaria. So now both teams out of timeouts, and Italy will serve for it when the teams return to the floor.
First ball side out. First contact. Most important now for Bulgaria. Skrimov has been quiet most of the evening. That's where the ace went, down his sideline. And he's moved over to take the line. I'd serve the seam between Salparov and Alexeyev into the cross court. Again, down the line, and Skrimov shanks that. And through the block and down, Svetan Sokolov coming through with a big swing to save the match point. So now tied at 24. Dobomir Dimitrov, very good ball control player with some good defense and serving coming on. Tied at 24. And once again out of the middle. Barretta and Emanuele Biarelli have been very, very solid out of the middle, and that's a function of good passing for Italy. That substitution is unwound, and now it's match point. Number two for Italy. Remember, Bulgaria already has a three sets to one win uh, in their bank account after they beat Argentina last night. This is Italy's first match. A chance for the win. A little confusion there. Savani going for it off the block and out of bounds. Boy, that is a big celebration. That was a big win after coming back in that third set. And Italy wins it 26 to 24 in the fourth and three sets to one. They were way down in the third set and somehow hung in there got the job done and that's going to be a bitter loss for Bulgaria and we'll see how Todor Alexiev is uh, if his team can make it into the finals still uh, remains to be seen one would think that Italy would have a big advantage over Argentina but not so not so sure uh, Argentina is tough at home so we shall see but final result here after a stunner earlier today where Canada beat Russia, Bulgaria falls to Italy three sets to one. Taking a look at some of the highlights, Svetan Sokolov certainly had plenty of his opportunities and came through in many an occasion. That ball hit out of bounds and Mauro Bruto with the big celebration. He is a fiery, very competitive head coach. And the day is done here in Mar de Plata, and Italy has beaten Bulgaria three sets to one. So Bulgaria will finish their group with a record of one win and one loss. Italy with one win now, and they will play Argentina tomorrow as we take a look waiting for the match statistics as we wrap things up here. Another nice evening here in Mar de Plata. And we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Uh, Brazil and Canada in the opening match, and then Argentina and Italy. And there are the match statistics. Pretty even. You look at the aces for Bulgaria. You know, Italy didn't serve that particularly well, 12 blocks. But, you know, just Italy is a better team. They uh, took care of business and uh, did a very, very good job against Bulgaria and uh, and then we'll take a look at the current results. Italy with a very nice comeback win over Bulgaria. Interesting in the third set. So Italy with one win. They played one match. They earn all three points. Bulgaria now with three points following their loss. And Argentina will uh, play Italy tomorrow to close things out in the preliminary round. And now joining us here courtside, Dragan Travica, the setter for Italy. Interesting match, kind of back and forth. You started very strongly. Bulgaria was flat and kind of quiet. But the third set was the key when you went on that 9-1 run. Talk about how you turned that set around and then the match. I think that uh, in the, the third set was uh, a show. 
because uh, um, the Bulgaria play very, very well, maybe better than, than us, but uh, we, uh, we find uh, our heart uh, and uh, maybe, maybe this, not only block uh, and uh, attacks and service, right. but I think that was uh, our character, that uh, we have a, a strong character, a big heart, and uh, in this, manif in this uh, tournament, uh, uh, we must have uh, if you want to try to win so that uh, that happened and uh, uh, I think that uh, you can't try training this uh, you can't practice right. uh, this uh, this job and uh, we do a wonderful job we not play so so good uh, the first set was uh, very very good for us the other not so well but it's okay first match uh, tomorrow we will uh, try to be better it seems like your culture as a team is better now. It was so good in the 90s, and then things dropped off a little bit. But now it seems like with you and Zaitsev and Biarelli coming on yeah. and some of the younger guys, yeah. it seems like a very together team. Yeah. And there's a positive feeling about where Italy is going as a team. Thank you for this word because uh, I'm proud. I'm proud of uh, this team because uh, we are uh, uh, very. Uh, we are only one in the in the court. Uh, we are uh, 12, 14, but uh, we are. Uh, the big one so uh, this is the best uh, thing that uh, we have in this team and uh, I'm uh, when I play with these guys I'm uh, enjoy very much so uh, I think that uh, the sport is uh, is funny so uh, I'm very f uh, lucky to play with this team let's talk about Argentina tomorrow you'll be the favorite there's no question about that but Argentina is a talented dangerous team yes they're playing without Facundo Conti yeah. but at home it can be a dangerous match particularly you expended a lot of energy with this win over Bulgaria you say all because uh, yeah. <laughs> sorry no, uh, yeah, okay. uh, you know volleyball uh, I think that Argentina is dangerous because uh, um, uh, I don't know in English but I try to explain uh, one day can uh, win with the best team in the world and one game can uh, don't, not, not play so good. It's very difficult to to, to understand uh, uh, where can uh, go Argentina. I think that uh, have, uh, uh, Argentina have four, five very big yeah. talents in the world, and uh, they are very young, so they can do everything. Uh, I'm I'm not so sure that uh, uh, they are uh, the uh, the worst uh, uh, team in our pool. I don't think so. Right because uh, we lost uh, two years ago with Argentina and uh, there is uh, some players that can uh, uh, change the match. Uh, but now we, have, uh, uh, we are favorite because uh, we win uh, one, uh, one match and they, have to, uh, they must win uh, the match with us and have uh, a lot of pressure. And uh, for, for that maybe uh, we, we have to, 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 to do a, a strong job uh, with a good team. Focus and stay together. Dragan, great job. Congratulations. Congratulations on the win. Really good job. Thanks so much for spending some time with us. That is the uh, star setter for Italy, the winning side tonight over Bulgaria, Dragan Travica here in Mar del Plata, Argentina. It was really a back and forth sort of contest, and we talked about that during our conversation here with Dragan. Italy won the opening set 25-18. Bulgaria came out sort of still asleep. Maybe they didn't have their espresso or their cappuccino. I don't know. But then Bulgaria came right back. But the key was in the third set. Bulgaria had a 16 to 12 lead at the technical timeout. They gave that up. They gave up a 9-1 run to Italy. And Emanuele Biarelli and Italy came back to win the third set 25-22 and then hung on to win the fourth 26 to 24. Not a spectacular performance by Ivan Zaitsev. I think he's still trying to figure out how to play the opposite position. But this was a really good Italian team effort. And that's what won this match, particularly when they were down so far against Bulgaria in the third set. For Bulgaria, their job is done. They beat Argentina. They lost to Italy. They'll have to wait and see what happens tomorrow to see if they get in to the final four and Italy will have certainly its hands full as they try to move forward in this tournament against Argentina and speaking of that here is the schedule for tomorrow the next match 
will be Canada, the winners of a big upset over Russia, three sets to two, taking on world number one Brazil, and that will be followed up in the nightcap by Italy and Argentina. And then the preliminary round will be concluded here in Mar del Plata, and then it's on to the semifinals and finals. On behalf of the FIVB, thanks for joining us once again for our fine crew here in Mar del Plata. I'm Paul Sunderland. We will see you once again tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.